now we will start with our schematic just go to the data sheet and find the biggest component here so the biggest component is our microcontroller so we will place the microcontroller first just go to the arcade capture cs hit the place part icon and search for 80 mega 328 now you can see we cannot find the component here by the name of 80 mega that means this component is not in our library so we have to create the schematic symbol for this but this will take a lot of time so i will download the schematic symbol and footprint from snap eda just go to the google and type snap eda open the first link and search here the part number so in the schematic the microcontroller part number is 80 mega 328p so i'll search for 80 mega 328p this is 80 mega 328 search for this and we will use the dip 28 package so just open this one and this is the schematic symbol and this is the footprint so I will download the schematic symbol and footprint post. So I will click on this link. I will select my software. I have a Arcad Allegro V17. So we have to sign in for this. Now select Arcad Allegro. And this will download a zip file in your system. Now extract this file, create a new folder, 80 mega 328 and copy all these files in this folder. Now we have a lot of files here. We have a DIL 28 PSM. This is our footprint. This is our pad by the extension of pad file. And this is the configuration file of our schematic. Now go to your Arcade Capture CS, click on file, import, and select this EDIF. Now browse the location. So this is the folder 80 mega 328. Click on this configuration file and now click ok now our schematic symbol is successfully imported you can see zero error and zero warning and this schematic symbol is stored in the same folder here now you can see we have a rcad capture library file here and we will open this library file in our rcad software just go to the file open click on library and in the same folder we have a library file here select this open and this is the component and in this library so select this component now this is the schematic symbol for our 80 mega 328 so all the pins are perfectly aligned so we will save this symbol in our own library just go to your project arduino uno click on file new and add a library here now library is added here just select this library right click and click on this save as and we will save this library in the default library location just go to your c drive installation folder of your rcad cadence spb 17.2 now click on tools capture and this is the library folder and we will save our library here just give any name to your library now you can see this is the library path and in this library we will copy this component from here so just go to this 80 mega 328 component here right click and copy and we will paste this symbol in our own library select the library right click and paste it here now we can close this and we successfully imported the schematic symbol for our 80 mega 328 so click on this 
and you can verify from here the component is successfully imported in our own library now we will do some minor adjustment select this reference designator and we will give a name as u this is a part reference prefix that means your reference designator now the font size should be a little bit bigger so i'll select the seven and same for this name the font size should be six now right click and save this you can close this now and we will place this part in this page here now go to place part option click on add library and we will add our own library by the name of my library this is my library click open and this library has one component double click and we can place this component on this canvas now right click and move and in the same way we will import this 80 mega 16u2 from snap eda now go to snap eda and search for our component this is 80 mega 16u2 mu search this component now in this time we will use the tqfp32 package so verify the component from your data sheet this is mur and we will select this one this one is schematic and this one is the footprint of the component click on download symbol and footprint select your tool rcad slash allegro now go to your download folder this is the file i will extract it here now i will create a new folder for this too this is 80 mega 16 i will copy all the files in this folder now go to your arcade capture cs click on file import click on this edif go to your 80 mega 16 u folder and click on this configuration file open and click on ok now click ok now go to file open and library the library file is created in the same folder here in this 80 mega 16 u select this library file open and this is the component here double click it and we can see the component here now select on reference designator and change the font size select the font size 7 click on the name change the font size to 6 now right click save right click and close it and we will copy this symbol to our library so right click on the symbol copy and we will paste this symbol in our own library select the library right click and paste it here now you can close this one right click and close it go to your page go to place part and now you can see the one more component is added here just double click the component and we can place this on this canvas here now right click and end mode now we have successfully imported the components here